Hi everyone, welcome to this class. My name is Maria and today is the last lesson of the course and we will talk about token prefix, <laughs> different pinch abbreviations, um, how to change forms, uh, how to make pinch on the back bend, funky pinch abbreviation and all those things that maybe uh, we see a lot in social media but there's a question how to enter them and what, what is the technique, how to understand. I would say that there is always something to learn and um, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different uh, poses that can be uh, implemented uh, into pincher practice and uh, it's just insane. But I would like to share something that I feel kind of um, that I can share with you. Um, <laughs> hopefully it will be clear and um, it will also make you progress through your personal practice. So um, I hope at this point you already made Surya Namaskar A, Surya Namaskar B at least uh, three times each sequence and you are aware that it's more or less up. And we will start with standing with our feet together, taking a deep breath in the deep breath out, inhaling and exhaling with your nose. Then bringing our hands towards our ribs. As you inhale, you press slightly. And exhale. And inhale, press. And exhale. Inhale, press. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now feeling this feeling of our um, root cage kind of closed, we inhale using our palms to uh, exhale for four. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, slowly step back to the chakra. Inhale up, facing back. Exhale down, facing back. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, three breaths. Belly in, one. Two. Three. Elbows in. Four, five, exhale, release, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. As you inhale, shift your weight forward, slightly rotate your wrist towards the sides of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, elbows in, one, two, three, inhale, but facing up. Exhale, inhale, down, facing up. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And as you inhale, then slowly bring your knees towards the floor. Take a deep breath in here. And deep breath out. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, pull up. And inhale. And exhale. We try to bring our palms on the floor. As we inhale, round your back, face towards your navel. Inhale, pull. As you exhale, look up. Inhale here. Exhale, round. With next inhalation, we bring one of our palms towards the floor. So towards the right one. While left is um, in one line with our elbow. We try to bring our elbow kind of in. And from here we move into plank. Staying here for one, two, eventually shifting our weight towards the left side of the arm, three, so somewhere in the middle, four, and five. Then we lift left leg, one, two, 
three, four, and five. Exhale, knees towards the floor, change. Left forearm on the floor, right arm towards the mat, elbow in, plank one, two, three, four, five. Lift your right leg up one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, knees towards the floor. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Exhale. Inhale, pull. Exhale, pull. Inhale. As you inhale, you bring your forearm forward, uh, bend your left arm, palm towards the floor, we shift our way forward, moving as the dolphin. Stay here for one, two, way towards center, three, four, five, slowly release, other side, one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale. Now, we will do the same, but we will lift eventually one leg up, square our hips and try to hold this position here. Inhale, pull it. Exhale. Lift your hips up, lift your left leg up. One, two, three, Four and five. Release. Exhale. Change the arms. Square your hips. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly release. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. Full inhalation. Full exhalation. Inhale. And exhale. Move to Chaturanga Mimitsa. Inhale, come up. As you exhale, move into forearm. Shift your weight forward, take a deep breath in. Then exhale, straight your arms. Exhale, chakra. Inhale up. Exhale, forearm strength. And one. Exhale, chakra. Two. Forearm plank. We do five times. Three. You can also make it from your knees. Four. Try to make it as isolated as possible. And five. Exhale down for seven. Deep breathing. Deep breath out and slowly come back to the seated floor, rest your body.
And from here, we'll try to move uh, closer towards Pampa Beach. So, uh, basically, there are some things to consider. Although we uh, bent one arm and yeah, we kind of try to bring one leg up here, we should definitely be aware that this arm just supports us. So we don't shift our weight completely here. Rather, we try to bring our knee as um, close as possible towards our armpit. And this just helps us, um, just serves as a third spoon. And then we come up. So, uh, from my understanding, it's not necessary basically to shift completely your weight here forward. Just you slightly touch with your knee this spot uh, near your armpit and then you lift. So we use more this arm as a support, not as a place to, um, to put weight. <laughs> Let's say it like this. Let's try the other side. So you bring your knee as high as possible towards your armpit. You slightly shift your weight forward. You try to widen your fingers, gaze forward, and then you lift. Knee towards your chest. And as you exhale, elbows in, 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 in. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's try um, two more, two more times. So. Uh, one set with the other one, then we rest and then. Then inhale, shift your weight forward. And we lift. Here it's essential to um, bring your elbow in. So also that you press through the palm, trying to bring your feet together. Stay here for one, two, three. On set. And we try to spread our fingers. Breathe in. This arm is just as a control, spot to control. Knee towards your arm. And eventually lift. So this one is challenging for me. Um, what I also feel like is the more our elbows are in, better it is. But it's of course difficult to maintain the position. If you have a yoga band, you can also try just to bend your elbows like this and have more control of this. You know, give yourself a space to discover and see because it's all about your body and your feelings and how things work, especially uh, personally for you. And then afterwards we tried the last time uh, for one side and for the other without the band, uh, just uh, delivering the weight straight into our forearms. So prepare the yoga band with the elbow knee with the right arm first, shifting the elbow knee forward, way forward, lifting up, elbows in. One, two, three, four, elbows in, five, breathe in, exhale, release, child pose. On the side, prepare to way forward with one of your legs up.
five, elbow to four, three, two, and one. Eventually from here you can also change and move to just normal pincher. Bringing your hips in, shifting your hips towards the front. And there are lots of different variations you can try. And of course, it's just all a question of uh, practice. So I guess maybe afterwards you can explore, create your own versions, your own variations, and see where it uh, brings you. Okay, uh, so that was the part about funky pincher. Now, Let's see um, everything regarding pincher with inversions. So the problem about uh, inversions, handstand, and all those elements that require strength is that our shoulders get stuck. So when we do uh, then inversions, and for example, with back, back bending, it might get a bit, you know, way more complicated. So. Um, that's why it's recommended to integrate into your practice also backbending practice at least doing something maybe you will use this band and I don't know, at least twice a week work with the flexibility of your shoulders um, for now I would suggest to make a short routine so we will work a bit with wheel poles and some variations and then afterwards come into Pincha, uh, uh, Backbend and take the closer look of how it will work. <laughs> so let's start in um, legs on the back, taking deep breaths in, deep breaths out, feet closer towards the floor, towards the hip, sorry. Rotating our wrists, our hands, uh, fingers facing the shoulders. We try to bring the crown of the head towards the floor as we inhale. As you exhale, you press up, straighten your arms. Inhale, you roll down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. As you exhale, slowly come down, knees towards your chest, inhale here fully, and exhale, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, and five. Um, so now, bring your um, hands all the way backwards, take a deep breath in here, deep breath out, knees towards your hand, towards your <laughs> chest, relax your arms. And then bring your feet towards the floor. And then now, we do slightly different variation. We bring our shoulder blades towards the floor as we come all the way up. Eventually, um, trying to make the distance between our feet and hands um, less. <coughs> so prepare feet towards your hips. Wrists under your shoulders, inhale. As you come up, exhale here. As you inhale, we move our shoulder blades towards the floor. Chin towards chest. Exhale, come up. And inhale, exhale up, three, four, five, six, 
five. Trying to straighten your arms. Two, press through the floor, through your palms, sorry. Three, four, and five. Slowly release. Knees towards your chest. Five breaths. And then slowly we shift a little bit forward, moving to Pashimodinaska. Eight press. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Inhale, come up. Exhale, slowly release. So also you can um, incorporate it into your practice and you know, when you're moving to bridges or something, you can do the exercises before, repeat them, take a rest, repeat and so on. So moving to Pincha. Um, <clears throat> what we should understand and feel here is the same as we did this exercise when we were bringing our um, shoulder blades towards the floor and then bringing them up, opening our chest, the, the place between your shoulder blades. If you, for instance, grab a block or a book and put some somewhere here, you inhale, unfortunately it's too big, I can't grab it. And then exhale. Inhale, exhale. So we kind of should imagine that we are holding a coin somewhere here. Letting, opening our chest, bring our shoulders all the way backwards. Still maintaining and not arching our back. So um, as, as every principle of a, a back bend, we try not to hump on our lower back, rather opening through the chest bring our shoulder blades away from the floor. If we see uh, how the back bends of Pincha work, for example, I come up and my shoulders, first of all, are in one line. And from here, being close, 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 I try slightly to send my teeth backwards, working through my shoulder blades, <coughs> through my forearms, I try to press and open up. Maybe I look all the way up, bringing my knees closer towards my chest. And eventually then afterwards, uh, the more I will work through my back bends, the lower I will be able to bring my hips, uh, I, will, I will be able to just transfer my hips closer towards the floor. And so here I am. And you stay here for the whole five seconds. Then slowly you come back. You can also see an experiment with the distance between your forms. Maybe at one point here it will be difficult, here it will be easier, and so on and so forth. The same when you bring a pinch on your right, you stay here, carry okay? Then you just send your hips backwards. You send your hips backwards, send your hips backwards. Maybe you bend your legs. Uh, you send your chest forward, you straighten your legs. And here and the, the question of um, how open your chest is. So the more you work on uh, heart opening sequences, individual back bends, the better it gets. And of course you can change the A's, then come back to center and release and just change, see whatever happens.
The same is with Scorpio. Kind of the same. So, or we use a block or we don't use a block, whatever you prefer. Uh, move forward, first of all, we're just trying to straighten our legs in a zoom as we can and move our knees forward towards the book. Forward, forward, forward. Even send our shoulders to the floor and stay here for one, two, send your chest forward, three, four, five. Then slowly you bend your legs and trying to send your shoulders forward. One, two, three, four. So, uh, yeah, considering the variations with backpack, uh, it's, it's kind of cool here. The more, uh, uh, maybe in, 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 ge in general, when you work through wheel poses and um, different, uh, the more you work on your flexibility, on your chest opening, on generally the more time you hit the backpack the easier it will get. So that's why um, everything is connected and uh, there are different parts to take consideration. Okay, that was it. Let's finish. Um, we uh, move to seated. Fin uh, legs are crossed. Arms behind our back. We take a deep breath in here. And deep breath. Bring our knees close to the floor to inhale. Exhale. Three. Four. And five. We take inflation, bring our forms forward. Stay here. One. Two. And five. We start slowly.
as you inhale and twist your fingers, straighten your arms, look all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands behind your, bring your arms behind your head. And it's going to release. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Arms in. Thank you for being here and practicing with me. My name is Maria. I hope you enjoyed this course. Keep practicing and stay healthy. Namaste.